What's up, YouTube? Welcome to R3 Garage. And if you tune in, make sure to subscribe to the garage. You have a spot before we get into this video. And make sure to like the video if you're returning. Make sure to share, like, and let's get into this video. As you guys can see, we will be replacing our rear main seal on the back side. Being that we already got the transmission out, why not drop it? So first thing first, we're going to remove this flywheel right here uh, with these uh, six, five, eight uh, bolts. And the rear main will be behind here, which you will see. And we are going to be replacing this flywheel uh, with the new one. So I'm excited to get that in. So see y'all. So guys, right now I'm breaking these uh, bolts. You can uh, buy your locking tool um, if you want, but you don't have to. Or you can uh, have another ratchet on the other side uh, to hold it in place so the flywheel don't spin when you're trying to crack the bolt. Uh, and also I'm using this smallie with my jack handle. Apparently I can't find my breaker bar that I recently bought. I bought like two breaker bars in they are misplaced, but hopefully I can find it. But anyway, breaking these um, bolts down right now. Probably just use that impact on the rest of it. All I'm doing is just holding my goddamn hand on it uh, to keep it from uh, moving. I think I have everything. Everything should spin out. And guys, I'm on the tarp. As you can see, I don't have no concrete. Um, I probably should have put concrete. I don't know how many times I said this, but I'm probably not gonna do it anyway. It won't be no point. Uh, it's a temporary setup on what I got going. Anyway, I'm looking for an adapter for my drill so I can uh, drill the rest of these bolts out and I will show y'all. All right, guys, as you can see. All right, guys, so we got six of the bolts out. Uh, I do have some new ones coming, uh, the extended part, because I have like a 4L80 uh, flywheel. I think they have like a, a spacer on there, so I'm gonna need uh, some longer one. I got some uh, ARP bolts coming in, so really excited for that. So I'm gonna just sit these right there. And guys, I'm mad comfortable under here too. Wait, no, let's see if we could pull her off. All right, guys, we got the flywheel off, as you can see. Now we are on the back side of the block. So guys, we're gonna remove these 12 bolts on this rear main uh, housing, uh, 10 millimeter. As you can see, I already got one bolt cracked and I'm gonna go in a cracker. So guys, I have all the bolts out. Now I'm finna the cracker open. Probably need a flathead screwdriver just to pry it out just a little bit to help it out. And uh, let's get to it. And guys, I forgot about these uh, two 10 millimeter uh, long bolts that go through here like so. So you got your, you got like 14 in total. You gotta remove uh, 12 here and then uh, 13 and 14 down here. Just take these out on the bottom side. Oh yeah, now we're cooking with some grease. As y'all can see. This is the back side. Only thing I have to do now is just uh, remove this gasket right here. It's really on there. As you can see. And we're going to clean her up. So guys, I'm finna grab some rags, clean this area up nice and neat. Also, probably have a rag down here so no debris will go in the oil pan or anything of that nature. So this is our old gasket along with the uh, housing that go on the backside. As you can see, it's all nasty and cruddy. Um, and then that is our new set right here. As you can see, we got some new bolts also. So yeah. And I thought it was done 
uh, from my other video, but yeah, it was never done. So good thing I'm doing it while I'm under here. So guys, to speed this process up, after you like, you know, clean this up really well and stuff, which I still got to uh, continue to do, what you want to do uh, is get some um, silicone and uh, put it on the edges uh, right here and on the edges right here. Um, and then on the bottom side of this pan right here, we're going to put silicone on this whole bottom side. We're going to rub it in and I'm going uh, to just fast forward like that. Um, I will probably give y'all all the torch specs and all that uh, towards the end, but these are that directions. I really don't need it. I usually don't use, uh, use directions, but it's nice to have uh, right here. As you can see, just go by step by step, which is not bad. So yeah, I'm gonna get her on. So guys, we have everything snugged up. Um, when you get it on, it's going to be a little tricky, but it's easy. Make sure you uh, hit it on both sides uh, just to make sure, you know, it lines up. Um, what I had, I had like one bolt here, one bolt here, one bolt there, and then one bolt there and there so the gas could be aligned. Uh, when I did it, uh, start your bolts by hand. Start all your bolts by hand. Don't uh, hit it with no drill or anything yet. Uh, and if I ain't mentioned, uh, put uh, silicone on each side and then put it on the bottom of this uh, housing right here. So you can have a nice seal and just for reassurance and all that. This is looking nasty right now. I'm gonna just uh, try to clean her up. But now what we're gonna do, do not tighten these bolts. Do not tighten these bolts as of yet. We're just going to start it. I'm going to run it in just the hair because we're going to have to fasten these down, torque it down, and then we're going to, you know, go from there. So, see y'all. So, guys, that will be it for the rear main seal. I had torqued all my bolts down. I believe the 30 foot pounds on these bolts, and then down here, these two bottom bolts uh 15 um but that's just pretty much it everything nice and tight uh and i hope y'all enjoyed and the only thing we need to do for this turbo truck is just get our flywheel put it on the back side uh which we got it coming and uh i think that's gonna be pretty much it i am gonna redo uh the fuel uh lines uh so y'all stay tuned for that but we got the bad boy looking pretty. So I hope y'all enjoy it. Peace.